Hi, I'm Caridad Pinero, and I write Paranormals and Romantic Suspense. Um, I just love doing all kinds of sexy, action-packed stories, and it's just a wonderful thing for me to be able to write um, all kinds of different novels for Harlequin, and also a brand new single title, Romantic Suspense, from Grand Central Publishing. That'll be out in November. The title of that one is Sins of the Flesh, where uh, a woman who goes for gene therapy has some funky things done to her, and she starts to develop all kinds of unusual powers. And what happens is that um, she manages to escape from the scientists, but one of them is murdered, and they frame her for that in the hopes of trying to eliminate her from letting people know what they're doing. You know, right now we're, we're traveling around, and this is actually one of the locations um, for the first book. Um, this is Bradley Beach, New Jersey, and um, the hero has has a safe house here where he brings the heroin. So it's kind of fun because I tried to set it in an area um, to kind of show people some of the Jersey sides. I'm not an original Jersey girl, uh, but I really come to love the state. It's got so many wonderful areas. So people will see um, not only Bradley Beach, but they'll see Philly, and uh, which was one of my own stomping grounds for college. So, um, you know, I've tried to include real life things there because I think it's great when readers can actually open up a book and see something and actually say, oh man, I know where that is, I've been there, um, or I know about that place. And, and so, you know, there's a lot of things as a writer that you try to incorporate, and, and that's certainly one of them. And for me, the genetic engineering thing, um, even though it's really a, a nice, sexy, romantic suspense, I think it'll be interesting for people to see um, some real life things. And um, there are issues that I mentioned about how the heroines um, skin start to glitter and actually it's got a really hot cover where they do show the glitter and that's not science fiction um, that is actual reality um, in fact the 2008 Nobel Prize um, in chemistry was awarded to people who developed proteins that phosphoresce so there's a lot of real-life science in the book and it was fun for me to incorporate that background that I had into a romantic suspense story phosphoresque is that the uh, glowing mice yeah, the glowing mice and the glowing cats and, you know, they have what they call transgenic, yeah, they actually have pigs that glow in the dark and, and so, you know, people may think, oh, this is a little, you know, did she make it up? And no, I, I didn't make it up. It, it's real life science and the ability to actually splice parts of genes um, into people or other things is something that's currently going on. So, you know, again, it was really interesting to be able to do what's happening now in genetic engineering or with gene therapy in a story and make it a, a sexy, action-packed suspense along the way. Um, Would you eat a glow-in-the-dark pig? Oh, I don't know. I'm Cuban, so I, I might eat any kind of pig if you roast it right. <laughs>